I just developed this full stack health app using this new amazing AI tool that allows you to build complete full stack mobile applications, not only for an Android device, but for an iPhone as well. The name of this amazing tool is tile.dev. I have provided a link in description so you can just go ahead and start using this tool absolutely for free. So this is an all in one platform. You can build your complete mobile applications on this platform. And after that, you can even publish your mobile application on Google Play Store and on Apple App Store from this same platform but of course you'll have to like provide your app store details and your google play store details we'll talk about that later in this video but for now let me just show you the app that i built so this is a health tracker app and this is how this app works so i can simply just add an entry and after that i can just add my weight which is right now is 73 kgs i think and steps total number of steps that i've taken today so this is like my end of the day kind of entry about my health record so let's suppose today i walked for 3000 steps and i had like seven glasses of water and i had eight hours of sleep my mood is good and today's date is 7th of july and i'll just click on the save entry and now you can see my health data has been saved in here you can see all of this data has been added in here now i can just like add another entry for another day so i will just like add my weight to be 73.4 and i'll just add steps i'll just make it like maybe 4000 and number of hours 10 excellent and this is the date is this save entry and now this is the second data has been saved in here and so this is you can see this is the 8th of july data in here and my mood is excellent on this date so yeah, this is how this app works and then after that once my app was ready i just simply clicked on this generate a live preview button and then it created this url as well so i can just like now open this url on any sort of device and even i can scan this qr code on my mobile phone to open this app directly on my mobile phone so before you start exploring further about this tool please subscribe to this youtube channel and click on that like button as well all right so to start using this tool just go to tile.dev and after that simply just sign up using your google account and once you're logged in now you can simply just explain what exactly you want to build so maybe a food recipe app or you can just like choose any of these options from here so something like a weather app so let's just simply click on this weather app option so build a simple weather app so i'm not providing any further details but you can just like add any further details about your app you can list all of the features that you want your app to have and once you have explained everything in detail after that you can even upload your screenshots as well or any other references related to your app so once everything is done you can simply just press enter and now tile.dev will start developing your app so now the ai agent from tile.dev will actually take care of rest of the stuff and it will build all of the required screens it will like create all of the required code everything will be managed by this amazing ai agent from tile.dev and further if you want to like edit anything inside your app so you can just like do that once it will finish writing code so let's just wait for it and see what exactly it will develop for us all right so in literally just a couple of minutes our app is ready and this is the basic initial design and now we can actually customize this design as we want so let's suppose if this particular section in here i want to like change anything about this section maybe the color so you can see i can fully customize it to so you can see so you can see i can fully customize it the way i want i can change the background color of this app as well i can change this to maybe black let's just leave it white for now other than that i can edit these cards as well and even i can directly access source code from here and then i can like directly start making changings in this source code as well i can create a new folder here maybe a components folder and then even i can create new code files as well now if you want to preview this app you can simply just click on this preview button simply just press on this button and from here you can even click on this generate a live preview as well so it will like create a url for you to preview this on any device or maybe you can simply just click on this generate qr code as well and then you can just scan that qr code and open this app directly inside your mobile phone now there is a really cool option here it's called agent store you can simply just click on this agent store and in here you can see there are a lot of different options that you can actually add inside your app so let's suppose if you want to like add an in-app purchase inside your app so let's suppose if you're going to introduce a subscription inside your app or maybe there is a paid product inside your app or maybe something behind your paywall you can simply just add that inside your app as well you can simply just click on this and after that you need to click on this enable button and now you need to provide some details in here so there is this subscription id there is this product id and then there is this consumable product id as well so now where you can find this so let's suppose if you're going to publish this app on google play store so you need to go to your google play store dashboard 
I'll show you that in a second. Then you can copy paste that ID from there into this dashboard. After that, you can integrate this in-app product inside your project. So this is one of my published app on Google Play Store. And you can see I am right now locked in into my Google Play developer console. And in here on this left side, there is this option which is called monetize with play. You can simply just click on that and then expand on this products option in here. And then there is this in-app products. You can simply just click on that and then you need to create your in-app products in there. You need to like initially decide what sort of products are going to be inside your app. So let's suppose there's this generate one song product inside my app. So I'm just going to like create a product in here. So you can just like add any sort of product that you want to add inside your app. You can simply just click create product in here. And after that, you need to like fill in all of these details, product ID, name, description, and pricing that you're gonna charge from your users. Once everything you entered, once you have entered everything and your product is created, now you can actually copy your product ID. So this is my product ID. My product ID is one time. So I can just like copy this product ID and then paste that inside this style.dev dashboard. Then there is subscription ID as well. And then there is consumable product ID as well. So this is the subscription tab. You can simply just go there and then grab your subscription IDs. Or if you have not created a subscription, just create a subscription. And then after that, provide all of those details inside tile.dev and then everything will be ready and that's how easy and simple it is to add any sort of like in-app purchases inside your app similarly you can build complete backend for your app using superbase so superbase is actually a backend development framework so you can just like go to superbase sign up the it's absolutely free to start just sign up create an account and after that you can just like integrate superbase as well then there is this option to create push notifications so if you don't know what are push notifications so push notifications are the notifications that your app shows maybe you can just like set up certain timers so you can just like create push notifications for your app as well you can also monitor the analytics for your app as well and then the final stage is publish. So let's suppose your app is fully ready. Now, this is the most amazing thing that I have not seen in any other tool in something like lovable.dev in something like bold.new. There is no option to like publish your app directly from one place because once you build your mobile application, now to publish your mobile application, you need to do that separately from your Apple App Store dashboard and from your Google Play Store dashboard as well. Now to publish your mobile application on Google Play Store, you need to do that separately on your Google Play developer console and to publish your app on Apple App Store you need to like do that separately on Apple App Store but in here but in here on this platform you can actually manage everything right here on this platform so you can publish your app for both platforms for, for Android and for iOS by simply providing your App Store details and Google Play Store details and then you can publish your app directly from here so what you need to do you need to provide your app name make sure your app name is SEO friendly and similarly then you can provide your subtitle as well both of these should be maximum 30 characters and after that you can just create an app icon and then you can just upload your app icon in here and in here you can even see the live preview as well this is how it will look like on app store so similarly then you can just provide your description and your splash screen and of course your privacy policy and all of these details you can provide in here then you can simply just click on next and then provide your app store details google play store details and then you can just like create a build and then it will be sent to a google play store and apple app store and then if your app gets approved by both of these stores your app will be live so now you can build and publish a complete app at one single platform you don't have to like go back and forth on Google Play Store or on Apple app to like provide separate details to publish your app separately on these platforms. You can do all of that from one platform. So yeah, go ahead and give this tool a try and let me know in the comment section what you think about this tool. I'll see you next video. Bye-bye.